Hello, everybody. Welcome to Scotty's Side. Thank you for joining me today. Uh, today, we're going to look at a video from Living Free. Why I don't approach women anymore. Let's get into this video and see what this fine gentleman has to say. I have not watched this video, so this will be like a raw reaction to it. All right, let's get into it. All right, folks, we're going to have this conversation. Okay. I'm already sharing so much of my life, I might as well share a little bit more. Okay. And it may be rough, mm -hmm. maybe a rough conversation, but I think... Um, Good. I like them. I think even a lot of the ladies out there are going to agree with a lot of this. The ladies. Now, I'm going to say this up front. I got uh, frustrations with men and women these days. Sure. Just going to say that up front. But I don't approach women anymore because I'm out here protecting my peace. And I think one of the reasons that more and more people are, more and more men and women actually, are starting to uh, take a step back from everything and live off grid is because of the dynamics of men and women these days. And now, now they suck. They're really bad. Some of this stuff I'm going to say may be a little bit controversial, yep. but this is more of my point of view and from the things that I've seen. So if you're super sensitive, <laughs> you might as well not watch. Not on this I don't channel. I approach women because I don't want to build up their egos Ooh. more than they already are. Ooh, I pause. I love that. I fucking love that. That is a great... That is a great reason. I, I, I love that. And honestly, it's uh, part and parcel of why I've stopped too. Not that I really did much in the past, but exactly. I, I totally agree. I totally agree. They get ego and attention boosts everywhere because guys are thirsty. And yeah, giving them any kind of attention or ego boost the best way to get them off your back well kind of because if you're more aloof and don't give them attention what's funny is they'll usually like you more if they're attracted to you so yeah but i agree with him don't give them the ego boost oh you know that like i've seen women smile at me yeah. or or make eye, long eye contact with me out in public and stuff like that and i just i don't even react to it Good. Because I just, I know that they've got a ton of dudes writing them, yeah. either online or in their phones or wherever they go. I mean, you see it on Facebook constantly. A woman will post something like, like, I want to go live off grid somewhere or something like that. And uh, there'll be 296 comments of all dudes saying, all right, I wrote you a message and stuff like that. Oh. And the the thirst of dudes these days is just so irritating to me yeah and the egos of women have become just out of control and i don't blame them i mean they they uh the internet has has made society so rotten uh to be honest with you and i'm sitting here on the internet telling you that but uh yeah it's different though. the use of the internet in some circumstances has made people pretty rotten and in women's hypergamous nature, now that the economy is the way it is, back in the 80s and before that, one blue-collared income could take care of a family. And now, barely two incomes can take care of a family. So women's hypergamous nature is to always go up. They never go across in their dating pool. They always go up. And they, they want these guys that can bring them on vacations every year and pull in six figures and yeah. be six feet tall and all <laughs> these things like that. And they, they think that they are in that class because they'll actually get responses from these guys online, but these guys don't want to marry them. Yeah. They just want to do other things, unfortunately. And I've got my problems with men too. Uh, they're so ridiculously thirsty. It's it's unbelievable. Amen. It's sad. And yeah, and uh, this is why I've said it on my channel, and I've said it on 
um, I haven't said it, but I've heard it be said on several other uh, other channels also that deal with like men's content is control your biology, man. Like you really got to. There's so many benefits for doing it, and I know it's really tough, but. I mean, he's he's bringing up a good point. It's such a waste of time and energy to be doing this kind of thing, this this kind of behavior. It's just, and when you step back and look at it logically too, it's it's kind of weird behavior. It's it doesn't make sense. What we're living in right now is the symptom of <laughs> symptom. And I hate to say this, simp dumb. This is not what my channel is about normally, and you know. Um, if you guys like this type of stuff, I'll get into it more. But uh, we're living in the symptom of things that happened in the 50s and 60s and so on when women entered the workforce and they uh, started, they kind of started competing with men. And then the economy, as a result, the cost of living went so far up that now two incomes can barely pay for a family. So as a result, it has men and women fighting each other instead of embracing each other's strengths. Amen. Right? Amen. Uh, no more son. It took a few generations to catch up. Isn't that a nice <laughs> thing to just, that's all you really got to worry about. Oh, the sun went down. Oh, well. Instead of Oh, the bills. Oh, my car. Oh, this. Oh, that. Oh, hey, the sun went down. What a rough life, you know. To see the results of having men and women paying taxes instead of just men. Mm -hmm. And everything being put on the backs of men. And now there's this hatred towards men. You can see it in women's eyes sometimes when you're out in public. I'm not going to approach women because, like, I've... I've held the door open for a woman, and she's oh, Jesus. opened up the other door. Like, she ain't going to take no help from no man or wow. nothing like that. You know, and you, you see these looks and stuff like that. What a bitch. Jesus. And we've got this society where people have acted like all men are predators. Yeah. There's this society where we're repeating that all men are predators, and they're scary and all these things and that women can do no wrong. I mean, do you guys, and it's, and it's all been systematic for many, many years. You've got the sitcoms that women grew up watching where the husband is always the bumbling idiot. Yeah. You know, and he needs to follow and listen to the woman because she's the level-headed logic one. And then you've got sayings when, you know, when you're growing up or whenever that uh, sugar and spice and everything nice is women. And men are snails and puppy dog tails and stuff like that. It's just all these little things that add up yep. to what we're living in now. Mm -hmm. We're disposable. Which is there's this division. Mm -hmm. There's this constant division between men and women and race and and I'm I'm apparently the worst of them all. I mean, I'm a white Christian male and I'm straight. Straight, yeah. Uh, I'm apparently the worst of them all. So ooh, just that's too much toxic masculinity, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that well, really just, quick that the world relies on. That's that's the other thing that just grinds my fucking gears is that we need strong guys like this to make the world keep running. I'm a man and I can do a lot and I can survive by myself. But to make a society run, as a man, I know I need other men. I need a community to be able to thrive. These women think they can do it all by themselves and they don't need any men at all. No, man, we don't need anything. As soon as those lights go out, as soon as that water stops running, who the fuck do they call? Who do they go after? Please help me. I'm just a poor, weak old woman. I, I just, I don't know what to do. <laughs> we need guys like this. 
but we shit on them. Well, this channel doesn't, but society does. Fuck that shit. I'm tired of being looked at for, uh... I get it, man. You see where the division led us? This man-hating division. Mm -hmm. And, um, you, you see it in talk shows. You see it, like, back in the day, women weren't promiscuous because they, you know, they figured that men wouldn't want to get married if they were. And because men are pretty promiscuous. And well, women used to hold each other accountable. Yeah, that was, that's the thing I was going to get at. There used to be shame, you know. And before there was an internet, you had your little town or your city that you grew up in. And you knew most people in your, your group or your clique. And if you were to get shunned by your group, like that was it, man. That was almost like death. So... That's not how it is anymore, though. You have the entire internet, and so you you have people from all over the world that you've never met before giving you all this validation, fake validation, and there's no shame at all. And you could just move to another city or something like that. But, you know, it's just, it's a completely different time. And the the time that we're in now just brings that women's hypergamous nature right up where they can get a good strong whiff of it and lick it up. It makes it way more possible for them. Back then. And now they cheer each other on as if women can do no wrong. You see it in talk shows like back in the day when I was growing up and stuff. Uh, you had Jerry Springer, you had Montel Williams and all that. And um, this woman, a woman would say she did something really, just really, really nasty and rotten. And the women in the audience would just cheer on. Oh, yeah, girl, you go. Yeah. You know, as if women can do no wrong. Or they would... There, or a woman would be on stage and she'd, she'd be saying, this guy doesn't think he's the father, right? Oh, boy. And as soon as the, as soon as the guy walks out on stage, Ooh. all the women in the audience, a lot of the women in the audience are booing this guy. Yeah. Just booing him automatically. They haven't heard his side of the story or anything like that. And then come to find out he wasn't the father and they test 10 other guys and they're all not the father either. <laughs> The women these days are all wanting traditional men. You know, they want the protection and provisions and, and all these things. But they're not traditional themselves. And um, traditional meaning they haven't had a bunch of hot girl summers before they met you. <laughs> they're pure. Yeah, pure. They're trustworthy and so on. Feminine. And so we're, we're at Agreeable. this symptom in society now Submissive. where a lot of men don't want to get married anymore because women have this entire government standing behind them if they decide they don't want to be in the marriage anymore. A government of simps, um, of other toxic masculine men that will come beat down your door and point a gun in your face, especially if you don't pay child support or alimony. And no fault divorce there you really go. <laughs> helped to destroy it. And this is just a Job statistical rigging. fact. Eighty percent of the time, it's women that leave a marriage. And so, men a lot of times are seen. There's a there's an eighty percent chance that I get into this marriage, and that if I mess up once, or 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 just if I mess up, right. Um, I'm going to go into court and everything's going to be, t you know, 50% of your stuff's going to be taken. You might have to pay alimony. Your kids are going to get taken and the list goes on and on. Would you sign up to jump out of an airplane if there was an 80% chance your parachute wouldn't open? I mean, the whole system is against men and there's all this hate against men while men are the ones holding up this system. They're the ones boom to a majority. They're the ones bringing the, growing the food. Um, they're the ones 
delivering the food to the grocery stores. They're the ones keeping the electricity on. And the, and the list just goes on and on while they're being hated and they can't have a relationship anymore. I mean, it'd be much nicer if you were looked at uh, as someone to love instead of what can you give me? The man has to rely on the emotional stability of the woman because if the woman wakes up one day and decides she doesn't want to be in the relationship anymore, it's you're in the doghouse. So I think a lot of men are going back to more prehistoric times, right? <laughs> cool. Um, where things were more simple. <laughs> it's nothing wrong and, with know, that. There's a, there's a lot of complaints against men as well. The, you know, women are going to naturally... Um, want to try to take the place of men while there's so many feminized men out here in the world. Yeah. And agreed. Just complete lack of morals. They'll, they'll sit and write a hundred women and then get three responses or whatever. I don't know, but, uh, they just, oh, the whole society is built on lust now and nobody's in shape. And, uh, just mentally or physically we're literally destroying each other instead of lifting each other up and it all stems from godlessness i mean some of you may not like that i that i say that but i don't care that's where i stand i'm a christian and um and <clears throat> by the way if you're interested um in hearing about my testimony um i've got another channel called truth or sorrow there you go. And you can go check that out. I've got my testimony on that. The very first video. Here we are. We're in the symptom of it. So I'm just out here protecting my peace. Fuck yeah, That's what man. I'm doing. Fuck yeah. And more and more men and women are going off grid or backing out of society because it's not. there's nothing fruitful in it anymore. Nobody can trust each other. Everybody's about me, me, me. You know, and it's unfortunate. We're not treating each other very kindly. And it's a sad reality. I don't it know if sad. I'll even ever upload this video because this, this isn't really what the channel's about, but, uh, I'm glad you did. I'm 16 minutes in now <clears throat> <laughs> and I thought I would just mention why I don't approach women anymore because I haven't, I've been in a lot of relationships. I'm in my forties and I've been in a lot of relationships and not a single one of them was trustworthy. I caught every single one Damn. doing something absolutely ridiculous. Damn, that sucks. And nasty. And, um, Oof. it's just too much drama. Yeah. And, uh, you know, if I were to consider getting married, I, I wouldn't get married by the courts. Um, mm. I just get married under God. Mm. And I may consider at some point going overseas where people are more traditional and they can Well, I mean, marriage was supposed to be about that. It wasn't, the state wasn't supposed to be part of it in any fashion or any way. And I agree with that. It's like, if you want to get married and make a covenant between you and God or whatever religion you are, or even religious lists, fine. Government doesn't need to be involved. There's no point in having a third party in your relationship, in your marriage. That's stupid. That's bad. And it gets us to the point we're at now. So I totally agree with him. I care about uh, relationships more. Now, I understand that, you know, there is a basic purpose with men and women. Men are to protect and provide and so on and so forth. But if you're only seen as a paycheck and nothing more, if there's no duty in relationships, then what is the point? Men care about a woman's past and women care about a man's future. And that's just the way it is. A lot of it is ingrained in men because, you know, only recently did we have like DNA tests and stuff like that. So I'm going to talk about that really quick. And that's another thing. He, he mentioned it earlier, earlier that 
women still want a traditional man while women aren't traditional themselves. See, we we still operate with our biological need to provide, protect, everything like that. Women aren't being their natural feminine selves. And that's the problem. That's the disconnect. If women could just be themselves instead of try, stop and stop trying to pretend something that they're not, I don't think this would be as big of an issue and I think we'd be doing okay. But they get this constant push and pressure from media and so like in the social media and even their f- stupid hen friends <laughs> and talk shows and shit like that about being a strong independent boss babe and blah 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 just just stop it ladies just stop it just be who you're supposed to be we guys want to do that we want to be who and what we're supposed to be just be yourselves a, a man wanted a pure woman to ensure that he was the the father of of a of a child you mm-hmm. know um instinctually that's why men want pure women and not if they if he met a promiscuous woman the chances are really really go up that uh he may even not even be the father and um yeah Anyways, I realize this was pretty controversial, but there's a lot of folks out there wondering why a guy's living in the middle of nowhere by himself. And that's just the way it is. I'm just protecting my peace. I just want peace. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's it's pretty well known that a guy, guys don't need much. A guy would live in a box um, if he could get away with it, if he wasn't trying to attract a woman or something. <laughs> You know, they're pretty happy with sim- with being simple. Anyways, no hate. If you didn't like this type of video, um, let me know in the comment section. We'll see what Ooh. happens with it. Yeah, no, good video there, man. And um, I pretty much agree with everything he said. You know, but I'm not religious and I don't believe in God. But it's the, it's the same idea of like just. The thing is, though, is that religions had it right in human nature and um, on a basic level. So, yeah, I agree with him pretty much 100 percent on everything that he said. He nailed uh, he hit the nail on the head, so to speak. So. um, But, yeah, I'm going to end the video there. What do you guys think? I know this was a longer one. 20 something minutes. Yo. (laughs) Uh, Yeah, let me know in the comments below. I'd really appreciate that. Like, share, subscribe, all that stuff. I really appreciate it. Take care of yourselves, guys. Take care of each other. See you in the next one. I love you all. Bye.